hello everyone welcome to bpo interview tutorials and today we came up with one more concept of the seven quality tool uh, that is histogram so guys please do check the playlist check the videos related to the excel uh, tips and tricks seven quality tools then also we have a videos regards to the uh, quality dashboards and also with the yellow bill certification so please subscribe the channel click on bell icon so that you can get all the videos notification uh, as well so let's start the today's topic uh, that is on histogram so guys uh, we will be looking after the histogram this is one of the seven quality tool so basically our main agenda here is to clear our interview so i am just going with the theoretical portion of the histogram and also giving you an example we will also see the difference between bar graph and uh, uh, the histogram so let's start. so what is the histogram in seven quality tool so basically histogram is a representation of a data in a graphical form here the data will be represented in a continuous method basically histogram is used in the uh, DMET methodology which means it is used in the Six Sigma so this is also one kind of bar graph and we can prepare it with the help of Microsoft Excel we can also prepare it with the help of table U tool so many tools are there which will help us to prepare uh, the histogram and in the Excel we can prepare it manually with the help of our data let's move to the second part of the theory here is the use of a uh, histogram in uh, seven quality tools so guys uh, basically histogram is used for problem forecasting here we will represent the large set of data in a graphical manner the main use of histogram here is we will show the variation in our ongoing process with the help of that we will be able to show the variations in our process so this is the all use of the histogram uh, there are different type of histogram available uh, symmetric dist uh, distribution skewed right skewed left peaked flat by model so guys many many uh, types of histograms are available uh, we will be designing as per the requirement Just, uh, we will see the difference between the bar graph and histogram so why we needed the uh, histogram if we already have a bar graph and that can be easily designed in the uh, excel sheet so basically we will see uh, the main difference of the bar graph and histogram here is there is a gap in the bar graph but in the histogram you guys can see uh, the, the, the bars are uh, connected with each other which means there is a continuous flow of the data where in the bar graph uh, it is uh, not a continuous flow here so basically uh, it represented the histogram represent the quantitative data and bar graph represent the category category wise data and uh, bar graph touch each other hence uh, there is no space between the bars which means for the histogram there is no space in between the graph in the bar chart there is a um, space between the graph uh, and also we can see um, if the data are continuous in nature which means like there are multiple exam examples for it we can see this example like uh, the scoreboard in the cricket okay the scoreboard they used to show a graph there which is in continuous method which means the data is flowing continuously and uh, the bar chart you know very well that the basic chart which we design in our excel so this is all about the histogram it's uh, what is the use of it uh, why we need in this one seven quality tools so this is just a basic history and basic details on the histogram that will help you to clear your interview guys uh, guys do check the youtube channel also we do have a facebook page and an instagram page do like share subscribe the channel and also let us know if you have any query with regards to the histogram in our comment section thanks so much guys thanks for watching have a great day